Uh, Ambassador Nanda, uh, Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. It's Australia has a legitimate interest in the maintenance of peace and stability, respect for international law, unimpeded trade and freedom of navigation and overflight in the South China Sea. Australia has not taken sides on competing territorial claims in the South China Sea, but we are concerned about the large-scale land reclamation and construction activity by China and other claimants that raises tensions in the region. Australia's defence policies and growing synergies with India. Middle Eastern conflicts will continue to attract foreign terrorist fighters from the Indo-Pacific region, including from Australia. As these individuals return to their countries of origin, including Australia, with new skills and networks, the risk of terrorist attacks will rise. Japan and the United States. The idea was dropped because the Chinese Australia recognises India's critical role in supporting the security, stability and security in the Indian Ocean region and the stability of a wider rules-based global order. This is why Australia views India as a key strategic partner and there is scope for us to cooperate further on broader global issues.